of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear friends you have been coming for the past nine Tuesdays Navina of nine days of Navina of Tuesdays to express your devotion, your worship to the Lord our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to experience the intercessory power of Saint Anthony of Padua. Very often we see Saint Anthony is depicted with infant Jesus. Saint Anthony was empowered by the grace and by the power of infant Jesus. Let us entrust ourselves to Jesus and through the intercession of Saint Anthony of Padua that we may all may experience pardon, forgiveness, for all our sins and imperfections, also all our petitions, all our intentions, all our supplications may be obtained through the intercession of St. Anthony. To prepare ourselves for this Holy Eucharist, let us confess all our sins. I confess to Almighty God, Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins and bring us to the, to the everlasting life. Amen. Hymn number 815-815. Let us pray. O God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation, 
Look kindly, we pray, on the handy work of your mercy and at your son's coming cleanse us from every stain of the old way of life through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever I will raise a virtuous branch for David. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 5 to 8. Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 5 to 8. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will raise a virtuous branch for David, who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel dwell in confidence. And this is the name he will be called, the Lord our integrity. So then the days are coming it is the Lord who speaks, when people will no longer say, as the Lord lives who brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who led back and brought home the descendant of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and from all the countries to which he had dispersed them, to live on their own soil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses from 18 to 24. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now, all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. May our sins be wiped away. Kindness makes you the most beautiful person. Kindness, goodness, compassion, Mercy makes you most beautiful person. No matter what you are, how you are looking. In the history, there was a man, boy, who was rejected by the school management. Headmaster called out the boy's mother and instructed her to take the child home, not to send the child to the school. He is unable to study. He cannot concentrate. He is unable to score marks. Therefore, the child should be dismissed forthwith. Mother, mother said to the headmaster, Sir, I myself will teach my son. I believe in his capability. I believe in his talents. He is not an unwanted child. He is a gifted child. I will see that he will become great. The kindness, the goodness of Mother Mary and Saint Anthony of Padua, Mother Mary with the baby Jesus, Saint Anthony with the baby Jesus, a source of integrity what we heard in the first reading. Integrity means righteousness. That you are a holy person. 
that you are a great person the lord will take away your sins from you god will bestow you confer on you the dignity of child of god you are no longer a sinner but you are a saint in the hand of saint anthony of padua in the hands of mother mary and in the hands of baby jesus what is the quality of baby jesus today's gospel reading presents us three beautiful wonderful insights about the childhood of jesus christ infancy of jesus christ number 1 he is name angel is telling joseph instructing joseph not to be so much worried about the mother mary who is in the family way nothing to be worried he is child of god joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the holy spirit she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name jesus because he will save his people from the sins infant jesus is appeared to saint anthony saint anthony was carrying infant jesus in his arms why the name of jesus may be proclaimed by saint anthony the very name of jesus takes away all our sins jesus means he who takes away their sins first and foremost when we honor saint anthony and when we look at jesus baby jesus infant jesus in the arms of saint anthony first prayer first petition first aspect of the goodness of saint anthony the goodness of jesus is forgiveness of all our sins god will forgive you god will pardon you god will take away every stain of sin whatever may be your sins from childhood right now god will pour out his holy spirit upon you by the power and the grace of his name you will become saints you will be filled with the grace of god and second aspect of today's gospel reading is he is called emmanuel emmanuel the lord is with us the mother of that boy called thomas edison alva who has invented bulb tube light bulb she was with him she loved him she guided him she was with him and uh, she taught him so many things he became one of the greatest saints mother was with him all through his life immanuel means god is with us not only to experience his presence but to make you great a saint a great person and that kind of capacity is given to saint anthony through the infancy of jesus christ he will be with you m god emmanuel the lord jesus christ who is in the hands of saint anthony will make you not only great but also with his presence you will be guided you will experience the presence of jesus christ the lord emmanuel saint anthony whenever you approach him he is there with the presence of divine lord it is not because of his merits 
it is because of Saint Anne. Say it because of infant Jesus, you will experience the miraculous powers of Saint Anthony of Padua. The third aspect is accept. Saying accept Mother Mary, acceptance. Saint Joseph, realizing, understanding the capacity to understand was given to Saint Joseph. Understand the situation, understand the circumstances, and accept Mother Mary. Do not abandon her. Very often we also feel that sometimes we are abandoned, sometimes we are not wanted, some other time they will, they will ask us to get out of the house sometime. Mind you, through the intercession of Saint Anthony of Padua, the infant Jesus will accept you, will honor you, and um, you will be continuing to be his friend. Then, the qualities of infant Jesus are, the qualities of infant Jesus are accessibility, approachability, availability, simplicity. Infant Jesus, in infant Jesus, we see the extraordinary wisdom and knowledge. Why? Because in Jesus, we find that experience of kenosis. St. Paul says to the Philippians, he talks about quality of Jesus Christ, the humility of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who, being in the nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing. He made himself nothing, emptying himself. By taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. Uh, by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. The humility is the another characteristic of infant Jesus. And uh, the humility is the extraordinary quality of St. Anthony of Padua. He was so humble. He was not arrogant. He was not proud. He was simple humble before the Lord and carried out the mission of Jesus Christ to proclaim the forgiveness of sins. We also have this kind of forgiveness of sins well articulated by the letter of St. Paul by Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 23 to 24. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept, blame, kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. That Jesus Coming of Jesus, coming of infant Jesus, that coming makes us pure and holy people. St. Paul says, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you. Not only forgiveness of sins, the sanctifying additional or little more higher quality. Sanctify you. May your whole spirit, soul and body kept blameless. That is the meaning of integrity. You will be blameless. You will be, you will be made holy, perfect, without any sin, 
without any imperfection, without any stain. These qualities are present with St. Anthony of Padua, like that of infant Jesus. St. Anthony of Padua, we find him as man of deep faith, deep faith in Jesus Christ. I must proclaim the mercy of Jesus Christ. I must proclaim the greatness of Jesus Christ. People are in need of pardon, forgiveness. Therefore, he was deeply convinced about the mission of Jesus Christ. He is committed, dedicated to the mission of Jesus Christ. And therefore, there is deep faith in him. He is also a man of prayer. Spent good amount of his time in prayer, praying for, the, for his mission, praying for his people, praying for the, all those who approach him. He is also a man of healing because of his faith, simplicity like that of infant Jesus. He is man of healing. When there is purification in us, when there is sanctification in us, naturally you will experience healing power of Jesus Christ. You will be healed from all the diseases and ailments. St. Anthony of Padua, St. Anthony's of Metagoda Shrine is known for miracles. Every Tuesday there are so many miracles taking place in this holy shrine. It is because of infant Jesus and because of intercession of St. Anthony of Padua. As we, as we complete the nine Tuesdays Navina of Jesus Christ, let us once again realize this kind of devotion, this kind of prayer, this kind of continuity that will make you a great people. The Lord will rejoice over you. That is what Zephaniah says, chapter 3. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves you. He will, he will take great delight in you. He will rejoice over you with the singing. He will take delight in you. He is pleased with you. He is not discouraged with you. He takes great delight in you and um, in his love he will no longer rebuke you no shouting no insulting no question of using aggressive words in his love he will never rebuke you he will rejoice over you with singing and i will remove from you and all who mourn over the loss of appointed festivals. At the time I will deal with all who oppressed you. I will rescue the lame. I will gather the exiles. I will give them praise and honor. In every land there have in every land where they have suffered shame. At the same time I will gather you and at that time will bring you home. I will honor you and praise among all the people of the earth and I will restore your fortunes before your very eyes. The Lord is delighted with you. The Lord is pleased with you. Don't think the Lord is angry with you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is not God of punishment, God of condemnation. He is not God of judgment. He will never ever say, Go, go, don't, don't come to my presence. Never, never. Man of acceptance, God of acceptance, he will accept you and make you great. May St. Anthony of Padua continue to bless you, help you in your life. You may experience his presence, you may experience forgiveness of sin, and you may experience the glorious, glorious life of eternal eternity 
as child of God, as God's children. my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Be pleased O Lord with our humble prayers and offerings and since we have no merits to plead our cause come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For all the oracles of prophets foretold, foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. From this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. From this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fame Dying you destroy 
light our death, rising you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, to Mabal, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. And also bless all these people that have offered their intentions on this altar. Whatever the request they have come forward, that your blessings may surround them. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and um, free and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. 
May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me. The hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for all eternity. Amen.
the just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Novena of nine Tuesdays in honor of St. Anthony. Introductory prayer for each day on page 20 from Navina Books. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, who is the author of all nature and grace, and admirable in all your saints, and in particular in our glorious protector, Saint Anthony, whom you have made so beloved of many, and the helper to whom we fly in our necessities. Here mention your personal intentions. Succor us in our dangers and enrich us with your gifts. Deign, O Lord, through his merits and intercession to deliver us from every evil and grant us the grace which we ask in this novena. Should it be for the good of our souls and for your greater glory. Amen. Ninth day, Navina Books, page number 28. O my celestial patron, glorious Saint Anthony, who is the father of those that are orphaned and abandoned, hear our supplications, receive us among the number of your servants. Pray to the Lord that he may reduce and extinguish the fire of our disordered passions and may grant us a heart like unto his own, that he may conduct and guide us along the path of fortune, of peace and of true prosperity and eternal salvation, so that we may never abandon the path that will finally lead us to paradise. Preserve us from every danger of body and soul, while you are now already in heaven. We are still in exile upon this earth, so filled with sorrow. From heaven, help us to reach you. Make us pleasing to Jesus when he shall come to be our judge, so that we may obtain the only true happiness. We beg you to obtain for us these graces through the immense glory which you enjoy in heaven. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Concluding prayer for each day, Navina Book, page number 21. O glorious Father and Protector of Saint Anthony, whose love of Jesus was so wondrously rewarded that you were privileged to hold him in your arms 
in the form of a little child by the ineffable consolations which inundated your soul by the compassion which you showed towards the afflicted and poor by which you showed the to obtain for us the pardon of sins the granting of all our needs the fulfillment of all our obligations a holy life and a happy death that following your footsteps during our life on earth we may merit to live with you eternally in heaven amen pray for us o blessed saint antony let us pray o lord may the ardent prayers of saint antony give joy to your church that it may ever find itself strengthened with spiritual succor and merit to obtain heavenly happiness we ask this through christ our lord amen, amen. saint antony of padua saint antony of padua saint antony of padua in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen